Hello everyone, we will continue the topic field symbols and in the previous video we studied that we are replacing work area with field symbol in the internal table operation because work area is a separate copy of internal table record but field symbol is pointing to the content of the internal table, whatever the record is there. So yes, if you are using field symbol, the processing is faster as compared to work area. Then we used field symbol in the internal table operation loop. We use the field symbol in the internal table operation read table. Now, now from the starting of the video itself, I am focusing on always check that your field symbol is assigned or not. This is to avoid the runtime error. Suppose simple example and at that time I told you in the upcoming videos, you will simply realize if I will not check for assigned, then system will throw me runtime error. Suppose after this read table, I'm not checking for assigned. I'm commenting this. Suppose I'm searching for order number 10. Now in our database table, there's no order number 10. I will put a breakpoint. I will run this program. Suppose I'm going for order number one to five. Now in this internal table, we have the order number one to five. Now I'm checking into the internal table with key order number is equal to 10. So it will check into this internal table for order number 10. But order number 10 is not there. Currently, field symbol is not assigned. Whenever this read table will execute, yes, there is no matching record. So field symbol is still not assigned. If you will see, field symbol is still not assigned. And we are referring to write order number value, payment mode value, total amount value. If this field symbol is not assigned, if it is not pointing to the record of the internal table, if it has not find that record, then how, how it can write? You can see now we are getting the runtime error. So this is the importance we should always, always check if it is not pointing to a record, how it can write that particular record. So that's why to avoid the runtime error, always, always check for this. So if I will check for this particular condition, now I will simply, simply uncomment this assigned. Now I will uncomment this and if false. I will activate. Now I will show you again in the debugging mode. We will not get the runtime error now. That's why we have written this. Now I will simply execute. It will check into this internal table for order number 10. Now into this internal table, it will check for order number 10. Currently field symbol not assigned. So our field symbol after executing this also, it is not assigned. But we have a statement if it is assigned, it means this if condition is false itself. So this write will not execute. And have you seen we have not received any runtime error. Yes. We are not getting the output and that is not possible at all because order number 10 is not in that table. We, from the starting, we are discussing 
customer always hate the runtime errors if output is not coming still we can go for other things but yes we should always always avoid the runtime errors now many people ask rather than is assigned into this scenario can i check for size of rc also yes you can go for this also because after read table we are always checking for size of rc so if you will check size of rc also no problem suppose i am going for if size of rc equal to 0 if this read table is successfully executing in that case only it will assign suppose so here you can go for if size sub rc zero also check but at least you should do this either assigned or size sub rc so if i will put a breakpoint and show you in the debugging mode i will go for order number one to five suppose I will go to desktop three. Now into this internal table, it is checking for order number 10. But yes, order number 10 is not in the table. So you can see size sub RC is other than zero. So this write will not execute and system will not throw the runtime error. So this is the real, real importance of you should check always, always that field symbol is assigned or not so what is the summary of this particular video in this video i showed you the importance of why why we are going for assigned if i will not use assigned and yes if our read table suppose currently we took the example of a read table we are passing a wrong order number and yes if there is a wrong order number, how, how that data object, how that particular record will be assigned to the field symbol. If that record is not assigned to the field symbol, yes, how, how it can write. So system will simply, simply throw you runtime error if you are not using if field symbol is assigned. But yes, if you are using this if statement, so after this read table, our field symbol is not assigned. So this if condition is false and write will not execute. And yes, system will not throw the runtime error. Now in the next video, we will simply, simply learn how to use the field symbols in internal table operation modifier. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.